right, getting back with it today. So, yesterday we left off with the exhaust manifolds, the turbo exhaust manifolds I made. We finished mocking them up. All right, well, there they are in their raw form. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, next step, what are we going to be doing today? So, the next step of today, what's today's step? We will be playing around with some intercooler piping and start mocking the intercooler piping up and clocking the turbos. That's the big plan. Um, actually, the other day, I started on the hood. I had drilled out the welds and got the hood latch off the hood itself. And the next step with that, we're gonna have to cut this area out here. Because my intercooler piping is going to be running right here across the support and that hood when it closes will be hitting it if we don't cut that out so I'm going to be taking that out today. Also I'm going to partially put this wiring harness back in because uh, yesterday when I was looking at it after placing the turbos in their spots and getting it all mocked up I literally only left about maybe an inch of room um, where the turbo hovers over the frame rail here. And that wiring harness lays right here where that goes. So literally, it's gonna be touching, I think, when I put the turbo back in with the wiring harness laying in there. So I wanna put that back in just to see the clearance, what we're gonna have with that. Oh, I gotta say, I am tired. I went to bed late last night. We got a bait this morning. And yeah, pretty tired. Um, yeah, maybe because it's a gloomy day. It is Sunday too, but it is a gloomy Sunday. Looks like it's gonna rain. But before it does, I might as well soak up some of this time to get some progress done. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then show y'all what's up. All right, I got that harness semi put back in there, mainly in the spot that matters right here in the corner. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that turbo back on here and I'm hoping that it clears this harness down here because if not, either I have to reposition the turbo again or I'm gonna have to do a wire tuck. Maybe tuck that wire somehow, get it out of the way. Maybe, let's see. All right, got it in there and yeah, it, it just, I mean, yeah, see it wiggling pretty much bopping it off the wiring. We have the slightest bit of room in there. Like, now I think that should be okay. I'm just worried about with the, when the engine's running and you're hitting the gas and you get the engine tweaking, you know, if that's gonna cause a problem. Is it gonna smash my, uh, filter in or you know break maybe the exhaust or damage the turbo I really don't know because I'm not a professional I'm just winging it and uh, doing what I can yeah this one I feel like is pretty good with the clocking all I have to do is just uh, straighten that center one out just a little bit but the housing is uh, I think in a pretty good position the way I have it down here have it coming down straight from here and yeah the other one I gotta really twist around it's totally off I think the whole uh, oil feed is upside down I got it at the spot where I needed it where it's straight up now I'm gonna tighten it back down and then we're gonna try to adjust the blower side I took the exhaust manifold back off. Um, when I tacked it together, when I put the hardy tacks on yesterday, I didn't put any on the flange itself and it's tweaking with the turbo on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat this because this welder, I think only supposed to weld up to a half inch or maybe less than that. And it seems when the metal's cold, it doesn't bite as good. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up 
then yeah we're gonna put some hardy tacks on that I don't think I have any more. Or I maybe do. I gotta look. I'm out of wire, so I gotta go head up to the either the hardware store or um, the tractor supply. I think they're open today, Sunday. So, all right, I'm gonna go grab some wire and we'll get back to it. All right, so actually, I just looked up tractor supply and they're open till seven o'clock tonight. So I'm going, and I got these actually tacked up good enough to finish clocking the turbos so we're gonna go ahead and do that and yeah we'll go to track the supply pretty much um, maybe the last few minutes are opened or if we get this done by then. the intercooler piping that I got um, seems to have plumbed right in with the pieces that were given without having to cut anything so yeah that's the way the front and the driver's side one wraps around, plenty of room, plenty of clearance. Oh yeah, just enough all the way around. So yeah, the driver's side seems good just the way I got it. All I gotta do is just clock that centerpiece up about 30 degrees and we should be good with that one. Now this one, um, I'm playing around. Uh, I got two positions that I can clock the housing in. The way I have it right now with that bending down like that or I can turn it one more uh, rotation down. The way I'm trying to clock it this way isn't working out too well and also I'm considering the um, coolant hose going to the radiator right there so because the lower one's going to be right there where that uh, intercooler piping is so yeah we're going to try clocking it downward more and then looping that um, bend the other way and hopefully that works oh yeah it's looking good got it in there and again on this side too I didn't have to cut anything I just used the pieces that were given and they pretty much matched up almost perfectly yeah, it looks good. Um, again, yeah, my only concern is the um, radiator uh, where the lower hose goes down there. Hopefully everything clears. Um, it looks like there might be just enough room and that radiator that I got possibly may have that um, outlet on an angle upward, so it might work out perfect. Hopefully, but we'll see. Yeah, let's check out under here. Let's see how the clearance is. Yeah, it looks good. Everything just clearing once again. I think everything's gonna work out. I just hope the uh, the engine holds up for a little while anyway. Get a little fun out of her. All right, awesome. We got the two turbos plumbed out and it looks fucking great. At least I think so anyway. But uh, yeah, let me try to plumb out that upper um, intake piping and we're gonna see how that looks. All right, we got our next short out the box look at a part that I had purchased. It is the blow off valve. So it's a 50 millimeter, 35 PSI V-band. I paid 36.09 for it. All right, got it all opened up because I've already been through this box. But that's it right there. So I figured with the amount of boost I'm running with the two turbos, um, this one big one should be plenty enough to do the job. All right, yeah, it came with an extra spring. Um, the fitting that goes on the intercooler piping, the V-band clamp, and a banjo bolt fitting to put the 
vacuum hose on. All right, looking good, let me tell you. And again, with the parts, um, I got what I was given and or I purchased and I just put it together. I haven't cut anything yet, so everything seems to be working out. And this will probably be the only cut I'll have to make is cut this right here to fit it into there. Well, that's it. All right, shortened it up, filed it, got all the burrs off it and stuff. Now let's go stick her in there, see how she looks. That's it. Hmm. I forgot, I should have actually, before I started mocking this up, cut that piece out. But yeah, I'll throw a tarp over this stuff and then I'm gonna cut that piece out of the hood and then we're gonna try to close this hood, see if it clears. Yeah, see where it's hitting, it's just hitting right in here. Exactly there, so I'm, I'm hoping once I cut that out, actually that might not be enough either because of this, this bend right here. Shit, might have to come back with this whole rubber down here. Maybe cut this a little more forward so this can come out more and then maybe that'll get it to go down. Hmm. The way I got it right now, there is literally just enough room to get clamps on um, the way it's spaced out So yeah, pretty much. I mean it looks good. I feel like the way I have it right now I just got to trim that little piece of the hood out and it should close with literally um, Millimeters, but I'm still I still want to try the other way putting the blow-up valve there But I'll probably have to cut this support a little bit bump the support um, and I'm gonna have to cut the rubber and this tube. All right, well, I'm gonna try that. We'll play around, we'll destroy the one rubber for uh, curiosity. This is my second vision of how the intake pipe's gonna be. Have it like that or the other way. Big decisions, major choices here. Which way will I go? I don't know. I'm out of whiz wheels, so I'm gonna shoot up to the tractor supply, get some whiz wheels, and what else did I need? I needed something else. Shit. Uh oh, welding wire. So I gotta grab some whiz wheels, welding wire, and I think I'm gonna need another piece of angle because uh, I'm gonna support that uh, intercooler bracket up a little better. Hmm, a little roll, a big roll. I'm all geared up and I got my and I got my sloppy ass lines all marked on there. So I'm about to start cutting. So yeah, got that out. Pour part of the hood. Throw it in the pot. The rest of the stuff we cut out, yeah, that's the, uh, the latch I drilled out the other day. All right, let me uh, pull this tarp off of here and then we'll see if that hood closes all the way. I would like to put that there, but yeah, I would have to cut this tube and have to finagle it in there. The other way is already set, literally fits in there perfect. I already got it set up. So I'm just gonna swap it back over the way I had it before. And then we're gonna try the hood again and see if it closes properly. All right, the moment of truth. Will she close? Nope. What's it hitting? Hitting that socket wrench right there. All right, attempt two. Hitting right in there. Like literally we just gotta go down a hair. And I think I didn't trim that one piece back far enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just gotta cut this back another inch. If I can just get this to go down a hair more, I wouldn't even have to do that. But I mean, this is pretty straight coming out of the intake. It's coming straight out, it looks like, with the angle of the engine. So I don't even want to mess with that. 
I like the way it's sitting. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna try to cut about another inch off of this piece right here, and we're gonna see if the hood actually closes all the way. Got that little extra piece cut out, so attempt three on closing the hood. Come on, please. Look at that. I gotta get it to go down just a hair, just a little bit more. Actually, it doesn't look like it is hitting. All right, cool. That's it. I guess that's the way we're doing her. All right, I gotta say that was fucking awesome. Everything worked out with the uh, plumbing of the intercooler. Um, got the hood to close. Uh, yeah, I'm just so damn excited. This shit's finally coming together. Like, awesomely coming together. So, all right, well, that's it for this one. Till next time.